Hello Hunter, welcome back to my walkthrough of Monster Hunter World. Today, we're going to be going out into the Great Ravine with the Handler. See what's up. Great, we made it! Let's start by finding a way forward. You can talk to these guys if you want. I'm just going to follow the handler for the sake of time. That's pretty impressive. Too bad you only come here once. Take a few screenshots if you want. Straight through. We didn't even slow it down. I'm can you jump off here? Pretty important on the other side. No. I always wonder that. <laughs> you can fall off. So, no. Invisible wall. Look at this massive fissure it made. This... This is the power of an Elder Dragon. What I find silly is that we thought we could try and trap it. But oh well. Ambitious, I guess. Uh, we gotta be careful not to fall here. We can't, there's an invisible wall. Don't worry. Getting close. Couldn't fit through here. <laughs> oh. You down there. <laughs> Come on, this way. I guess somehow we survived that kind of a fall. I always wondered how far we actually fell there. All those candles looks kind of like a fire hazard. So, talk to this lady here. Hmm. Dot 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 dot.
napping, I'd say we were just out cold, whatever. into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Hey there. <laughs> okay. This is the first instance where we can get a charm. It's basically like an extra piece of armor. Sort of, I could find the box up there in the stairs. Like this. Basically, it just gives you an extra skill. You can make these later on. Now, you can go on an expedition to the Coral Highlands. You can go back to Astera if you want as well, but. Anybody else want to talk to us? Highlands. Hmm. Probably the second most um, complicated map in the game, so I'm gonna eat real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna go into the tent and grab a few rations. Now, even though this is a very, very impressive map, it's very pretty even though the ancient forest was also very impressive still not my favorite we have not yet encountered my favorite map yet so there are only two maps left these here are dapper not dapper coral birds these are, are they? elegant coral birds now if you go into a little flock and you see one that's a little more purplish but has a brighter throat, that's a dapper coral bird. And they're really cool, so... You can also sneak up on these wigglers here. It's better to use a ghillie mantle though. May not seem significant right now, but the endemic life researcher will eventually want these. You have to catch them while you're um, while you actually have the quest, though, so it doesn't count here. But what's really cool is that at night, sometimes the Wiggler Queen comes out. The Wiggler Queen is a little bear. She's bright red. Okay. So let's just continue. I am really amazed by this map though. They managed to make a map that kind of looks like it's underwater. Snow herbs here for ice ammo. Managed to make a place that kind of looks like it's underwater, but it's not. It's not underwater at all. So, props Ooh. to them. Yeah, more feet to sniff. These are Sisiaku prints, so... Now, 
Now, as big as the map is, there are only two camps here, and we are going to discover it in this expedition. These are Seamus. Seamus. Not sure. I believe this is where we have to walk to to um, get the cutscene. Sit. No? How about up here? Yep. Alright, now our next objective is to search for a campsite. I already know where it is. So. We'll be touring this map later. But there are a few things I want to find. Paluma. Come on, let's go exploring. I wonder. Is he here yet? Nope. I was wondering if there was a dapper coral bird here. <coughs> that right there is a Paulumu. Yeah, there is place to mine right here. This is the map where you can also find Dragonite ore, so if you didn't get it on Zor Magdros, you can get it here. A lot of wedge beetles here. I remember like the second episode I said there's one particular map that has a lot of wedge beetles you can use. This is the map. already know what these are from. And there's the third monster, Legiana. That's really beautiful. the monster we ran into earlier. He must be the big boss around these parts. Very beautiful. Still not my favorite of the new monsters, what? though. Okay. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Sounds like the research base has a new guest. Want to go back and check in? And maybe grab something to eat? Okay. Pretty simple.
glider mantle. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go back to a stair for a minute. Fine work. By the way. And listen up. May the sapphire star light your way. Okay. Harvest box bigger. Aqua sack. <laughs> Fortunately, we're gonna have to go back and kill a Giratotus for that. But if you do that, I think what you can do is harvest two things at once. But what is this? Working hard. Good luck. Feast of fish. Can already do that one. Okay, pretty simple. Sorry if this episode's not particularly entertaining. This guy has something to say to us. That's I know incredible. about the. Okay, what he's saying there is now we can make charms. Like I said, it's just a way to get some more... Ooh. Sorry, I'm interested in that one. Get more skills on the speeding botanist. Oh, geologist. This is one I recommend you pick up eventually. Don't have to do it now, but eventually pick this one up. Upgrade it all the way. When you can. <laughs> Does anyone else have anything to say? Or am I just... It looks like there's another exclamation mark. Oh, it is. Okay. Good news. Train. Gazing upon schools. Special arena. Okay. What he's doing is saying good. that... Oh, what? Let's say stuff we fought before. You can go in your optional quests. And all these are for the special arena. What the special arena is, is like a little spot. It has little traps. You can drop the monster like there's a Dragonator, there's Ballista, there's these rocks that you can pull a lever, drop on them. And you will want to do these eventually. You don't have to do them now, but eventually do these because they will be useful in unlocking something later. But what's kind of cool about them is if you go out and capture a monster, then the monster you captured might end up in the arena. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell in my opinion though. But let's take care of some of these optional quests. Out there. Let's see, see for science. What a bunch of abalone. Let's do that one. Let, leave that animal alone because I want to move this along a little bit.
Sorry if I'm being quiet. Usually I am. You can find coral bones here, by the way. And sturdy bones, apparently. I think about it, I could have gone the other direction. There's more over that way. Should be some over here. The abalone looks like these little round corals on the ground. Oh, speak of the devil. Alright, in case you want to know. Uh, these things you can find super abalone and choice abalone here. Oh, and I found both. Look at me. The only reason I'm keeping this recorded is because. If you're new to this spot, you can just follow along where I'm going. Oh, would you look at that? See there? That pink and purple bird? That's a dapper coral bird. If you miss it, just run away and wait until they come back. I think there's a conch shell around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. A little hard to see against all the pink. This is what'll happen if you get hit by a sleep anything, out of a toad or whatever. <laughs> I popped us back. Got a few coral bones from this. Soulful Caviar was added to the menu for complete the quest, and Choice Abalone added to the menu. So. Hello. Gonna need some Sitsiaku hide to upgrade that camp, so I think we'll do that in a minute. Actually, before we do, Next up, it's Crying Seamus. By the way, the glider mantle, basically it slows your fall, it also increases mounting damage. Or increases your chances to mount, I do believe. 
Something like that. And since it is nighttime, I'll be searching for that Wiggler Queen because I can. Is she over here? Don't see her, so. Spunky little things, I'll give them that. They sound like little horses. King Turkey was added to the menu. And let's just go for that Tsitsiyaku. Tsitsiyaku, Bird Wyvern. This odd monster blinds both prey and enemies with a special pulsing organ near its head. It then uses its strong legs to deliver finishing blows. Sisiaku's organs begin to radiate before it releases its blinding pulse, giving you enough time to escape and flank it. Damaging this organ will dramatically decrease the flash's effective range. This is pretty accurate to the strategy that I would suggest for fighting Sisiaku. It will raise its head and use those frills to stun you. The flash will affect the large frontal cone in front of Tsitsi, so when you see it open its frills and they begin to flicker with light, get behind Tsitsi. The flashing move also gives you a decent amount of time to attack it. Like it said, damaging its head will decrease the range of the flash, but what it doesn't tell you is that if you damage its head enough, it gets rid of the flash entirely. I suppose it's worth mentioning that if you have level 3 stun resistance, this thing cannot flash you at all. Though I don't think you can get stun resistance to level 3 at this stage in the game. Weak spot is the head, and its elemental weaknesses are thunder and ice, though pretty much anything will work against this boss. I'm used to fighting this guy with a hammer. I think the switch axe will do, though. I gotta say, Switch Axe is another weapon I don't use often. I can use it well enough, but I haven't fought any Elder Dragons with it. Wiggler Queen? Nope. Still looking for it. It's one of my favorite pets. And if it's nighttime, may as well take a look. She's pretty unmistakable, though. Just for the sake of research, I'm picking all this up. science. <laughs> eh, 
Oh, and there it is. Okay, I've broken it enough. It can't do that anymore, so. Pretty much gives me ample time to attack it. Pretty simple boss. Am I hitting the Seamus on the other side? <laughs> That's kind of cool. There, it knocked me off. <laughs> so it's kind of risky doing that move. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to wake it up with this move here. Oh well. I was hoping at least one of those would have hit.
itchy, itchy. Sorry, my nose is just really bad. Here. The light pearl and the deep pearl are the ones you're looking for there. Okay, we discovered the Coral Highlands, we took on some side quests, got some new ingredients, we took on a Tsitsiaku for the first time. I think that's a wrap for this episode. Next episode, we'll be touring the entirety of the Coral Highlands. Until then, happy hunting! <laughs>